Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress hook tutorial for beginners and this is part 17. In this video session guys, we will discuss about login underscore header URL, login underscore header title as well as we will discuss about login underscore URL. And also guys, if you are a beginner to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about WordPress hook tutorial. So basically guys, if this is your first video session, then I strongly suggest you just go to YouTube. Now inside a playlist called WordPress Host Tutorial, you will find all the 16 previous tutorial. You can watch all those videos from here. Okay, so basically guys in this video session we are going to discuss about the filter hooks basically related with the login screen. Okay, these are the some simple filter hooks. Okay, so basically this is our login screen. Okay. Here we have the logo of our login screen. Okay, suppose we have made made our custom login page for our custom setup. Okay, now if I hover on this logo, as we can see that there is a message called powered by WordPress. So if suppose we want to change this message, means that suppose this is our custom login page, this is our custom logo of our blog. Okay, so we want that we need to change this message as well. If we inspect that. Now as we can see that under this code here we have to change two things first we have to change this title message as well as we have to change this href link okay means when we click on this logo when we click on this logo we will be redirected on the wordpress.org okay suppose we have made our custom login page so we want that when someone clicks on logo he or she will be redirected to our blog page okay and also while hovering here is our custom blog message so basically guys these are the basic simple things that we are going to do inside this video session okay so just back to editor and now this is the plugin guys that we have developed so far while learning our wordpress hooks tutorial we have discussed several types of action hooks and now inside our previous video session we had discussed about the filter hook called the title and the content okay so let's get started about add filter inside this add filter first parameter that we are going to pass call login header URL so just make copy of that paste it here and now the name clears is that that we are going to change the URL section it means that we are going to change the href section okay we are going to put our own custom URL okay so let's say that here we have to pass the callback function so let's say that OWT update logo or let's say login logo URL okay so we have to define this callback function okay so let's see that function here is the function name inside this function we need to change the URL okay so inside this function guys we have to pass a parameter called URL and finally we have to return this URL okay so let's return URL okay if I save this file just save this file go to browser reload this page now here is the URL okay so we want that instead of wordpress.org we want our own custom link suppose we are going to redirect this on our Google page means when someone clicks on this logo he or she will be redirected to the Google page okay so instead of this URL we are going to put our own custom URL so let's see that HTTPS www.google.com okay so if I save this page reload this and now as we can see that instead of the official WordPress here is the link of google.com so by using guys filter hook called login header URL we can change the URL of the logo okay so let's say that we want to change the title of this okay so let's say that add filter inside that we have to pass call the header title okay so it's login header title okay so in the second parameter we have to pass the callback function name okay so let's that OWT update login logo title okay next we have to define this callback function so just make copy of that let's that function function name now inside this function block guys we have to pass our updated title of the lo login logo okay so let's say that echo or instead of equal it's a return 
features let's say online web tutor okay updated or let's say that blog okay this is something message we want on the hover title okay so just save this page go to browser reload this page just close it here and now when we hover in this logo as we can see that the message has been changed and also if I click on this logo icon by pressing control we are redirecting on the google home page okay so basically guys these are the two things that we have actually changed by using called filter hooks our login header url as well as login underscore header title so successfully guys we have manipulated updated or changed the message of our login screen by using these two filter hooks okay now let's discuss about log underscore url so basically guys the name clear is that that it will give you login url okay it will manipulate update the login url okay so if you go to editor let's say that echo wp login url this is a wordpress function guys basically it will return the page of login okay it will return the login page url so just save this page go to browser close this inspect reload this page and now here as we can see that if i make zoom this is the login url okay this is the login url basically the wordpress provides okay by using this function called wp login url so how can we change this login url okay suppose we have our own custom login page url so how can we get that url okay so just if i log into this page go to page section suppose this is the page that we have developed and now this is our custom login page so we want to change that if I click on view just copy this URL go to slides open a new tab here is our let's say custom login URL okay this is our custom URL okay and now if I click on logout and now this is the defined WordPress URL okay so just copy that this is default login URL okay PHP now we want to change this URL from this to this okay how can we change that just back to editor just comment these things let's add filter login underscore url this is the filter hook name inside the second parameter we have to pass the callback function name so let's say OWT update login url okay next we have to define this callback function so just make copy of that let's see that function function name and now inside this function guys we are going to pass two parameters okay so basically to pass these two parameters we have to define right here okay so this is our priority of execution of this filter hook okay and now this is the number of parameters that we are going to pass okay number two it means that two parameters it will take okay so first parameter it will log in URL and the second parameter is something called redirect okay so just save this file now we have to return let's say return home underscore URL inside this home underscore URL guys we are going to pass our login page URL okay so this is our custom login URL so just I'm going to copy this slug and paste inside this home URL okay and also let's append a parameter called redirect to equal to and this is a I'm going to attach with that okay so these are the simple things guys that we did actually by using this login URL okay so if I save this page just get rid of this comment and now if I reload this page so as we can see that our login URL has been changed from actually the WordPress default by your own custom login URL okay suppose we have made a login link here okay we have developed that so by using called eco WP login URL we have developed something like that so if you go to slides let's say that anchor inside this anchor let's say href we have supposed to use the function called WP login URL this is the word function that we have used okay and let's login here okay so basically guys by using this anchor tag 
it will actually return before making this filter hook if I just get rid of that all these things now before using that actually WordPress re actually returns this URL okay so if I open up a new tab paste the code go to slides if I copy this URL I now replace with these things okay so WordPress actually returns something like that but by using this filter hook by using this filtered hook that we have defined actually the WordPress has returned something like that okay so if I make copy of this anchor tag paste here it again now inside this anchor tag guys it returns something like that just make copy of this URL paste here and also we have added an extra parameter called redirect to right now it is empty but in some cases it will return some value okay so as we can see that guys by using filtered hook called login URL we have manipulated or updated the login URL okay so basically guys in this video session we had discussed about three filter hooks log called login header URL basically by using that we have changed the URL of the header logo okay and also by using this login header title we have updated the title section of our header logo and also we have updated our login URL okay so in this video session guys if you have any doubt then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day